Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine family about Airbnb Santa Teresa. I'm going to cover some important information that might be very useful for you if you're in search for the best Airbnb accommodation for you, your family situation, depending on if you travel by yourself, family, whatsoever. Um, so if you stick to this video till the end, you're gonna learn something about Airbnb in Costa Rica, in Santa Teresa, especially, um, and also something that might interest you, uh, according to, you know, where can you stay in Santa Teresa? Um, basically at the side of Airbnb, there's also options a lot of people don't know about. So yeah, I'm really excited to, um, to walk with you over my property to an alternative for Airbnb Santa Teresa might be a good fit for you but I would love to hear that from you of course in the comments below if you cannot follow me just trust my word I'm gonna show you some stuff this is something um, uh, that I haven't seen people posting about yet um, but before I'm gonna dive in what that might be all everything according to Airbnb Santa Teresa stick with me because first who am I why am I making these videos about Airbnb, Santa Teresa and Costa Rica in general. Uh, I moved to Costa Rica in 2018 with my two kids. I learned so much. I made a lot of mistakes, but far and foremost, I'm really happy here. We, we bought our own property. I'm walking on it right now. We have a five and a half acre uh, mango tree finca. <laughs> we bought it in 2019. And um, I'm really happy with this. Uh, but here's in a nutshell, a little bit more about myself and my family. So you know a little bit more about why I'm making these videos and what it is that I do uh, here in Costa Rica. Okay, so now you learn a little bit more about myself and that I don't have a job here in Costa Rica. That gives me plenty of time to do other things. Um, so besides my coaching business um, and other income streams I've generated online since 2014, um, I am really on this mission also to serve people um, who want to come to Santa Teresa but stumble upon huge prices. Like literally, I met people who rented um, an accommodation, even through Airbnb in Santa Teresa, and they really paid something that was mega, mega overpriced. Now, there are some facts that you should know about Santa Teresa. One, Santa Teresa is super cool. Uh, it's not for nothing. Um, one of the top spots in Costa Rica for surfers because there is a lot of A locations to surf here. Um, spread over the area, Santa Teresa, Montezuma. Really, if you want to learn how to surf, if you want to, um, if you are an, an advanced surfer and everyone in between, you know, this is the place to be. Now, while I just stand in front of, um, uh, um, a house that we have uh, in the back of our property and as you can see there is no neighbors here it is super quiet uh, you see a lot of animals here and monkeys what is a fact about renting and let me stand in the shade renting in Santa Teresa 
is super, super expensive. Now, actually, it's so expensive that I'm ashamed sometimes. I don't know why I should be ashamed because it's not my prices, but people rent places without windows uh, because they are in need for a temporary home and they pay over a thousand bucks for a room with a tiny window and a shared kitchen and toilet you know so that is according to long-term rental a fact oh there's lots of little flies flying to my let me stand like this so you can see my face but also according to last minute rental in santa teresa there is this monopoly that the rents are incredibly high so rental a goes up in price rental b goes up in price i think it's abnormal pricing to rent something in santa teresa and it's almost that you should be lucky to find something awesome and i'm not saying there's no awesome things no awesome airbnbs in santa teresa but i assure you uh, what i would love to rent as a family uh, or as a couple it's not really listed on Airbnb in Santa Teresa. So what I did uh, uh, with Dirk before we started our family was travel a lot. And we slept a lot uh, on, farm, on farms with the family. So basically you rent an independent home for a couple of nights, but you are on the property of an existing family, a finca whatsoever. And that gives you a feeling of security that you are like, you have your privacy, but if something is wrong, there's a family nearby. Um, you don't have neighbors. There's there's no other tents. It's not a camping whatsoever, but you're really like surrounded by family life. And, and uh, if you look behind me, this is an amazing quiet home that could be available for you if you would message me. Um, I recently had two sets of people staying here who I met who didn't have any accommodation. So I said, you know what? You can stay at my property and let me know how you felt. And they were both like incredibly happy. Um, and that made me realize that I can literally serve some people looking into uh, Airbnb Santa Teresa if they're not a big family, because this is a very small casita, um, a one person or a two person uh, casita, one bedroom, one bed, but look at the space you have around you. You literally, let me just walk around it. You literally have this whole back of the property for yourself, but you have to share it with the monkeys. Now, because this is Dirk's mom's house, this house, like why do I share this? This house belongs to Dirk's mom, but she's not here for six months per year. She lives six months in the Netherlands and six months in Costa Rica, in this amazing one person or two person uh, bedroom or casita uh, in Costa Rica. And uh, basically the homes in Costa Rica are better off if someone is living in there. Oh, I should hold it like this. So there's a little back terrace. In my next video, I will give you a tour around the house. Right now the, the I was, or the cleaning lady was washing the bed sheets and stuff. But I will definitely, so you can also wash yourself, everything, you know, there's a kitchen. It's really like a, a full grown house, but in small. Um, so a house is better off with someone in there. Literally the jungle otherwise takes over. It's really better for a house to have the toilet flushed a couple of times per day, really for the pipes and stuff. If you were in Costa Rica before, you probably get my point. You know, the jungle, this is a house built in the back of my property, surrounded by jungle and the jungle is always stronger. So yes, we do maintenance and stuff, but still, if there's no one in here staying, you know, it's a, it is also a lot of work to keep it clean and neat. So I was just thinking out loud the other day, if I would put this casita on Airbnb and uh, I got um, a couple of awesome replies. So I do have a lot of viewers on my YouTube channel and the people who came to this house once said, met me on my YouTube and they were like, well, I would love to stay on your property. And also 
allowing me to get to know or just meet you Muriel and I was like why not you know let's step out my own comfort zone and allow people in my world if they want to stay in Santa Teresa looking for an Airbnb Santa Teresa and they think Fuck, everything is so overpriced or it's too luxurious so as you can see there's no pool here but listen it's quiet look mango trees and often howler monkeys not the time of the day it's the hottest time of the day right now howlers are in the morning and in the afternoon very active we have a lot of colibris a lot of butterflies other animals are are here on the property hey if you're coming to santa teresa and you haven't booked anything yet because you just couldn't find anything that is fitting in your budget message me okay hit me up comment below my video uh, or hit me up on messenger referring to this video saying info casita and let's talk about if this is an option for you in the near future if i'm gonna put it available officially and uh even if you would want to stay here right now uh, we can talk about it <laughs> i'm really open it's a very spontaneous video now I'm rambling on and walking around so you cannot see everything <laughs> and that was not my purpose so I want you to see how cozy this looks like let me turn my screen but let me just walk in anyways just it is not the the bed sheets are not on but as you might know me by now I do not like very licked and edited videos I love the real stuff you see there is big couch, a big table, sliding doors, connecting to the kitchen. It's really cute. We are literally in love with this house ourselves because it's everything one or two people need. Oh, and look, this is the note the people left me. It's in Dutch. I don't know if you can read it, but it's really, really sweet. They left me flowers too. <laughs> And so there's a little kitchen. If you can see everything for yourself, you can cook. And there's a bedroom with a mosquito net. This is the bed, of course, there's bed sheets usually on it. Nice fan. It's a very nice connection with the outdoors. You really wake up peaceful here is what I heard back. And then we also have an amazing, that was the child. There was a set of people, a mom and a son staying here. He was very excited about the outdoor shower. So literally it is an indoor shower, warm water, of course, but you know, you can shower. <laughs> Look, I'm standing now, pretending I'm showering. You can see monkeys over here really well showering. Uh, so yeah, everything is basically available here. You can just, uh, you can just throw down your backpack and just sit back and relax and feel safe with the family, with my family. And um, let me turn my screen again. So yeah, um, I think the best thing to wrap up this video with, are you really seriously looking for, looking for an Airbnb, Santa Teresa? Uh, consider to hit me up, comment below if you're interested in this, staying with me. Uh, you probably will understand that I'm I'm kind of picky like it, this is not fit for people with uh, with kids because it's too small um, you might are able to put a tent there but we have to chat if this fits you this is not something for everyone because some people want more luxury than this casita provides but I assure you the people who stayed here to test drive this home they loved it they loved the connection with the animals and also just feeling that they were home in the home place of a family and let me just show you the view when you're sitting here on the deck it's so cute so I just literally turn my screen so this is that white thing that little plateau is where my Dirk's mom feeds the animals she puts some bananas there and a pineapple and a lot of animals and birds and uh, sometimes um, apes come to to get that it's really cool look this is literally the house and this is what you see when you're sitting here and what you hear. You see? And if you hear water in the background, 
We are surrounded by a waterfall, uh, a river. The river is the boundary, the natural boundary of our property. It goes like that to the back, far back of our property. Boom. And it's the cool thing also, the cool thing also is that we might not have a pool, but we do have a river beach. And that river is only accessible through our property because the other end is cow property. And you can just walk from our own property to the river and just have a lot of fun there. So this is really, I think, something unique um, around Santa Teresa. I am not in Santa Teresa, but we are like less than t a 10 minute drive from Santa Teresa. We are right in the middle of Montezuma and Santa Teresa. That means that you can decide to be in the noise and the hecticness of Santa Teresa and surf there, but sleep peaceful and quiet here. And the next day it's an easy drive to Montezuma because we're right in the middle. And Montezuma is also such a cute little town. Well, I hope to inspire you about what's possible. Um, you might see this listed on Airbnb soon or not. It's going to depend on the amount of responses that I'm going to get on my channel and replies for bookings because someone advised me, you know, create your own website, you know how to do it and do the bookings from there. But for now, I'm just checking out. Are you interested? Message me um, and let's take it from there. And with that being said, I think there's a lot more cool stuff uh, to stay at than you see on Airbnb Santa Teresa. Sometimes you have to just look beyond what is listed and, and what is on the big websites. And I hope that this is uh, one of your amazing ways to enjoy Santa Teresa soon. Who knows? We're going to meet. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hoping to inspire you. Talk soon and bye for now.